All right, so it's a day after Mother's Day. I still have all these balloons in the back of my van now because it was too packed in the car so that my mom couldn't even drive and I wanted to keep them to do something with them later on, but I don't know what to do with them. I still have like a ton more left, like a ton of party balloons. Knock, knock. Uh, can I get two large Big Mac meals? What's the drink? Dr. Pepper. I had a great idea. We have a lot of balloons back here, like at least a good 40 balloons back here. Plus we have like a ton more in this bag. So I think what I'm going to do, it's James's birthday today. So I'm going to go to his house because he's at Cedar Point. I'm going to go to his house and I'm going to fill his room with all these balloons. We're at James's house. Jack let us in. What's up? Hold and on. we're going to bring, uh, we're bringing all these balloons up to his room. <laughs> Oh my gosh. James, I really hope that you like this because I'm so dizzy right now. I was going to throw all these in the pool and then jump into the pool with them, but I thought this was better because it's your birthday. So happy birthday, buddy. Hey, look at all that. That looks so fun. I just want to jump in it, but I'm not going to because it'll probably pop like every single one of them. But yeah, James, hopefully you like this. You also got to thank your siblings for letting me in the house. We're leaving James's house. We just delivered all of those um, different balloons to James's. Hopefully he likes it. He's not going to get home until 9 tonight, and um, I got to work, but I figured I'd do it for his birthday, because why the hell not? All right, Holden subscribers. So as you just saw, we um, filled James's room. We like filled it with a whole ton of balloons for his birthday today. He should be getting here any minute, and since Holden couldn't be here tonight, uh, he asked me to film this for him, so I'm doing that. And yeah, James should be arriving any minute, and I'll record his reaction, and it'll be funny. See ya in the next time I'm in one of Holden's videos. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> we, Holden, and Colin did this. This is the ones that were... Yep. <laughs> what did you do with my fan? We didn't mess with your fan, it was like that. No, you obviously messed my fan. No, I swear to God, I didn't mess with your fan, James. Well, it wasn't like that today. Well, me and Holden walked in here and turned it on, it was like that. You can you even ask him? He's right, James. The fan was like that. Uh, how do you feel? What is this for? Holden's YouTube video. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna get the reaction you want out of me. All I wanted was a hoorah or yeah! Good, thanks, Holden. You're the best. You're the best, best friend, best, best friend ever. And I gotta, yeah, thank you, James. I almost died blowing up all those balloons. <laughs> James! And now you're popping them. Thanks, James. Holden wrote something on one of them. It said, like, happy birthday, big cat. Don't hit it! Sierra just saw Don't a turtle it! on the side of the road. Oh, no! We're coming! What if it's already dead? It's not! It's dead. It's a snapper though. Don't touch that. Oh, That's a snapping turtle. You grab it, no, grab it like this on the sides and then pick it up and throw it. Or do you want me to do that? Be free! No, put it in the... Hold on, it was trying to get across the street this way. Wait, is there a car coming? Um, no. Be free, young one. No, put him in the water over here. I want to be with my people. I want to be where the people are. Okay, Welcome that's good enough. Dude. That's good enough. We saved it. High five. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I gotta get it on camera. High five. Nice. I can't believe you actually stopped to save that turtle. He was in the middle of the road and he's a turtle. He can't go that fast. <laughs> he wants to be where the tires are. He wants to see. Wants to see him driving or driving around on the... What do you call it? <laughs> Zero, there's a horse in the middle. No, wait, that's a cow. I do it for them. Here <laughs> it got I don't lost and it. drove down the same street four times, and the lady was standing outside watching us. She gave me the wrong address. That is not my fault. Okay, all right. We're going to pick up new furniture for Sierra's new house or apartment when she moves into it in about a week. Mm -hmm. Is it a week? Yeah. Week She's moving out in a week, which is gonna suck a lot. Not that you're ever here anyways. Boom! 
<laughs> but yeah, we're going to pick up the furniture. We already got one thing. It's a day bed. Yeah, it's a day bed. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go get food and then we're going to drive. Yeah, we're actually going to get food. We're going to go to Grand Blanc. Grand Blanc. Grand Blanc. <laughs> a large Big Mac meal with Dr. Pepper. That's what I get every time. Uh, we're sponsoring McDonald's. Everybody, go to McDonald's. Golden What's Arch. their motto? The Golden Arch is right to diabetes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she was like, something, something, nugget, Big Mac, and then Zero was like, what? <laughs> She actually made it to the right house. I'm just kidding. The other time it was it was That was their fault. They gave me the wrong address. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So oh, it's pretty. I Oh, oh. Flooding in the DMs like. <laughs> Flooding in Nick Jonas's DMs like. Flooding in Leo DiCap's DMs like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, if you like that, be sure to like, comment some other things you want me to do, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends if you enjoyed, and Sierra. Wait, what the hell? How'd you get over there? What do you have to say? I got furniture badges. Badges. Oh. oh.